Hey, we have a very special segment today. Dr. Jerome Williams, one of our regular guests here on Good Day, along with Dr. Beth Gibbons and special guest Shannon George. And Lenny, Lenny is down here, and I think we can get Lydia. a camera folks to come. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that sweetheart. Hey, guys, great to see all of you. Good yes. To you. Um, good to see you. So, obviously, Lenny's working right now. Yes. Uh, a seeing eye dog for Shannon. Yes. And so we're talking about a couple of things, but first talk about what you wanted to let folks know about. Um, during the month of May, um, veterinary ophthalmologists across the nation are giving uh, complimentary eye exams to mm -hmm. service dogs. They register online during the month of April. Mm -hmm. uh, the website is acvoeyeexam.org. Mm -hmm. And after they've registered, they can contact uh, veterinary clinics, veterinary ophthalmologists, and um, set up an appointment. Okay, so um, Dr. Williams, what a special creature this is. Absolutely. And right now, um, you, you couldn't live right now. You, you're very comfortable with, with Lenny with you, and I know he's a very important part of you. He really is. I, I, there's no way I could do the job that I do uh, the, in crossing the city. We cross the metropolitan area daily. Y'all work downtown together, don't we you? We do. We work downtown, <laughs> so it's about, about 24 blocks of obstacles. So and beautiful. The greatest thing is that he can see those obstacles two blocks away and take us out of that danger Wow, area, that is amazing. So. Now, Dr. Williams, we know that right now Lenny's working. Yes. yes and so yes. Lenny's a very different dog when he's working. Right, but absolutely. But you, you wanted to, he's focused. So, yes. all right, you wanted to show us what happens. All right. Oh. Okay, so. All right. Had a boy. So Let's we're going to. Usually. Uh, so you're undoing the, harness. undoing the harness. Now the harness uh, signals to him that he's to be on point. Is that correct? That's correct. He needs to be watching about as to what's going on in in front and staying focused, uh, okay. keeping me from running into anything. Uh, so definitely in a work mode. Uh, once that harness comes off, though, he goes into a typical puppy play mode. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, All right. Well, let's see. He may be a little. All right. Oh, this hey, Lenny, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm going to acknowledge you now. Now, you think Lenny will eat a carrot? Cause I, uh, he'll eat anything. You want a carrot, <laughs> sweetie? <laughs> he would love a carrot. Oh, though. my. Oh, okay. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> so we usually take the harness off when his eyes are being checked, and, and that's something I was wanting to ask the doctors. How long should I go after an eye check before I can work him through the city? When's it safe? It's a great question oh. because is it like a like a human? Yes. I, if we if we dilate him, it takes about four to six hours for that to to wear off. And that's good to know. It's yeah. it's, you it's definitely carrot? good to know that it, if your service dog has an eye problem before it's mm -hmm. it's you actually are in the street and those vehicles are coming past you and you definitely want to find out if there's an issue or not. And it's true so we get this done every year mm -hmm. and I, we I strongly suggest that others who have service dogs and that are uh, that work their dogs in the city or even outside the city in your area that they get their uh, an appointment and get their dog's eyes checked. Wasn't it just amazing when that harness came off? Yes. <laughs> How yes. different yes. he became. And we're so grateful to Dr. Gibbons and the other ophthalmologists that give up their time sure. as they do for all the different service dogs that are in this city and around the country. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so great of them to do it, that. Yeah, it doesn't just apply to seeing eye dogs, it's any service hey, dogs. I don't have there's, one. <laughs> there's dogs that can detect uh, people before they have seizures. Um, right, they can right. They tell if their blood sugar is low, hand hey, and paw dogs. So any dog that provides a service yeah. is, is you are uh, so sweet. included in the program. All right, and well, I believe, uh, Shannon, you indicated that at the age of eight, nine. Yes, this is, around the age of eight is when these service dogs start to uh, go into retirement. And what can what can uh, push them into retirement are visual impairments or arthritis. But Lenny's just getting close because of age, right? Uh, age is, is getting getting close, so he's he's. Definitely getting closer and closer to his retirement. Okay, we don't have to focus on that. <laughs> we're we're going to get emotional if we do. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, Lenny, you are precious. And Shannon, thank you for always coming on and, thank you for and sharing uh, with everybody. And Dr. Gibbons, thank you. Thank Dr. you. Williams, okay. always thank you thank very you. much. All right. Let's uh, take a break. We'll be back after these messages. Getting ready for some uh, gumbo. Back in a moment. Okay.